All right, all right, boys and girls and brothers and sisters of the hook. Salty kayak here. And as you can see, I got a bunch of black drum and a red drum in there. I got five black drum and that one red drum, legal size red drum. And I'm going to see if I can figure out have to show you all how I clean black drum. Show you while I am in my kitchen here. I clean all my fish except for the really big long ones in the kitchen here. Everybody wants me to show them how I clean my fish. All right, this is a black drum. Not all fish are cleaned the same way. Here's my tools of the trade. Filet knife, and this is what I use to begin my cuts. What I do is I start to cut here and angle it towards the head. Get through all this these armor piercing <laughs> scales. Okay, and I'm through there. I flip it over. Do the same thing, angling it towards. Actually, I'm angling it towards the tail so I can cut towards the head so I don't lose much meat. Okay. Then, I'm going to wet my fillet knife. Put the fillet knife in there. Can you see that? And we'll run it along the spine. Just like that. All the way down. I'm running it along the spine. All the way down. Not quite to the end of the tail. And I'm going to take and wash those scales off. I'm going to open this fish up a little bit. Okay. And then, after I've cut through the, the spinal column, right there is the spine, put the knife in right about here and lift it up a little bit so that I can come out just above that fin. That bottom fin right there, and then uh, move along the tail like that. Once again, wash off the scales. Lift up this flap of meat. Okay. Cut, cut. Look. Now I am going to stop right here. I'm going to flip it over. I'm not going to take that fillet off. The reason is this fillet will help to cut this fillet by pushing it up on it. Put the old fillet knife in, run it down the spine. Like this. Just like I did on the other side. Push it up a little bit. Cut, 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 cut. Down to the spinal column this side. Take my time. No, don't need to hurry. Lay the knife up a little bit. Slide along. Go. Keep, I like to keep my knife wet with water. Okay. Just like this. A lot of times I will take this serrated knife again. Cut like this. So I'm cutting through the rib cage. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. There's this fillet. I'm going to drop that down here because I want this fillet. I want this fillet to get washed in the water. Remove as much blood. I'm leaving it in the running water. See there? I'm going to leave it in the running water. That's where I'm going to throw the carcasses in the skin. Kind of hard to do. I'm going to have my camera in here so that you can you can see me cut these things. Okay. Pull this up. This side's really bloody. 
little more surgery right here. Okay. Cut through those bones. In this case, can be tough sometimes to cut through. One of the best eating fish you can get, folks, right here. This meat, when it's cooked, is white and flaky. When I was freshwater fishing all the time, I loved largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. Okay. Come on. Let go. Let go of my ego. All right. Okay, here we go. Put this fillet down here, and there is a well filleted out fish. He is well filleted out. I drop him in the carcass bag right here, and I take that carcass bag, and when I've got three or four carci in there, I'll put this other fillet down here so it can wash off. And when I've got and this bag is almost almost full, not quite. I will take it, freeze it in the freezer, and then when trash day comes along, and from us that's Friday morning, I'll take it out and put it in the trash. If I had a place in the garden, if I had a garden, that'd be the great place to take it out and bury it deep. It hurts the soil, but I don't have a garden. Okay, when I start back here at the back end, when I'm going to fillet, I have a sharp knife. I don't know if you saw me sharpen my knife. Run it along, run it along. Bending down a little bit so that the, the knife blade runs along the flesh and not through the flesh. Okay. There we go, look at that. Look at that, nice blade. Laid out meat right there. I don't know what anybody calls this. It's up along the, the top fin. But for some reason, I just don't like that kind of meat. So I cut it off. And then you get rid of the red meat. You get rid of the red meat. That's the meat that tastes like fish. That's what carries the blood to the flesh. So we get rid of that. in the carcass bag and any other little necessities and then I wash off the fillet this is the bottom part of that fillet and this is the top half of that fillet right there put it in there and now I've got the next one already partially washed off. Start at the bottom. Let me go ahead and wet my knife and wet my stone. I've been doing this. This is the same knife I've had for eight years and the same stone I've had sharpener for eight years. Skin. I usually like to cut. I 
try to eliminate all the bones that I possibly can because I give almost all of my fish away. And I don't want somebody who doesn't know a whole lot about fish, fresh fish and stuff, to have to deal with bones. But I tell everybody that I give my fish to, be careful, there might be bones. There you go. So I fillet a black drum and a red drum. All right, I want to show you all another thing that I like to do before I begin my um, fillet procedure. Let me get this to turn around and point down properly. It's kind of angled, I don't like that. And there we go. But, I like to put my fish in the sink with running water first and I turn them upside down and I do this it removes a lot of the protective slime that's on the fish it also causes it to slip while you're cutting them and as you can see I've also washed off my cutting board put these fish in the running water run the back of your fillet knife over the fish Get rid of a lot of that slime, but not just about all of that slime, and so it makes cutting the fish easier. Also, sometimes I'll put a towel down over top, and that really eliminates all the slipping and sliding. All right, this is a bigger, this is a bigger black drum, bigger, a bigger black drum. Okay, we'll start on one side, flip it over, flip it over. We'll start on another side. I like to keep my knives as clean as possible. Right down the backbone, right down the backbone. All the way to the tail, lift that up. Slice and slice and slice. I'm slicing it's pretty nice. A nice slice. Put the knife up a little bit, just a little bit. You can slide along the top of the backbone and cut the tail area. Lift it up. Do a little more surgery. Some big old bones right in there. There's some big old bones right in there. Okay, flip it over. Like I said, that fillet is holding up this side so you can fillet it easier and get more meat. Alright, all the way down. Don't like to waste anything if you can help it. Okay. I lifted that up a little earlier. This is my second fish. This thin part of the tail here, you don't keep much meat off of it, but it's a platform. I hope you get started when you're filleting your fish. Alright, let's see if I can cut this big boy. Alright, this is my second filleted black drum. Got them all filleted out both sides. Just about read through that. Read your newspaper through there. And as you can see, I'm washing out both of these fillets. Get most of the blood off before I even start. Like that running water, that actually 
gets in there and pulls some of that blood out. Okay. Let the old knife again. Come through a couple times on the stone. about five minutes, six minutes from beginning to end when you're cleaning a black drum. Get rid of that extra meat there. Don't like that. Cut out this stripe of red meat here. Wash this piece off. Let the running water rinse it off. Go, look at that. Mm, boy, there's a meal right there. A good meal. A meal of good fish. The Lord has blessed us. This is the day before Thanksgiving. And I'm giving thanks for the abundance. Yesterday, my wife and I took over, I think, five, four or five baggies full of red drum. A lady friend who's She's a single lady, older lady, and her family's coming in and she wanted to cook fish for them. So I took fish over. We took fish over so that she can feed her family some of the best fish that you can catch. Fresh fish is always better and it's not imported. This is homemade USA bread and bled right here in the old United States of America. You're there. You're there. Yes, sir. Uh, by the way, I am angling. I'm not cutting straight down. I'm angling it this way to cut the red meat out. Because I like to preserve as much of the white meat, clear the, the meat meat eating meat as possible and by angling it you're saving a little bit more of that what I call white meat clean meat okay got a little bit of too close to the skin here cut some of that off get rid of some of that fishy taste and there we have it folks that is black drum number two Gonna get rid of some of that right there. That's the belly, the belly uh, inside of the stomach area. Yeah, I got some more trimming to do right there. Get rid of them bones. Sometimes when there's just one bone, take it and pull it out. Wash it off. Put it in there. We might be eating fish in a couple of days. All right. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. All right. This was, I think, my biggest black drum. Let me show you what I do usually when I get a big fish like this. It's too big to put in my little pan over here. I put, put all the fish in my little pan over here with ice and water in it to soak overnight at least. That further removes the blood from the flesh. But see there's, look at the, look at the thickness of that meat. Okay. I got a bone right there. bone right there. I don't want to give this to somebody and have that big old bone that's stuck in their throat. If you know anything about black drum, if you've ever cleaned black drum, especially the bigger ones, they have flying scales. I mean, the scale will end up uh, under here, over there, on your window. Okay, this is too big 
to put in my pan over here. I don't know if you can see it, yeah. Too big to put in my pan. So what I do is I'll cut it right about there in half. So I got two halves, big beautiful chunk of meat, almost an inch thick right there. That might be an inch thick right there. Wash them off because a lot of times there are scales stuck to the flesh. Right in there. Big old, big old filet right here. We cut this in a couple of sections. Okay. That's about a meal right there. See there? And look at that, that's an inch thick right there. Yeah! <laughs> Super duper good eating. done with this fish and I'm halfway done and it's only been about 15 minutes. One of the things that is, one of the least like like things that I do is clean fish. That's why I do it fast and efficiently and conservatively. Okay. Later.